tired of the same dull fonts. How about something new and fancy? Hello everyone and welcome to TechFix Flicks. In this tutorial, we will download, install and use a new font on Windows 10. Start by opening your default browser and navigate to one of the following sites all offering free font downloads. Defont.com 1001fonts.com 1001freefonts.com whatfontis.com fontzone.net fontsquirrel.com fontfreak.com and many more. Alternatively, you could simply perform a Google search for free fonts. We will use the font as an example, but the principle remains the same no matter which site you use. Most sites will greet you with a recently added fonts homepage showing the latest uploads. Typically, you will search by theme, assuming that you have a particular visual style in mind. Here, we have opted to browse sci-fi theme fonts. Note that you can scroll down the page for more examples, and that there are many pages of fonts to peruse. By default, the text shown is the name of the font, but you could easily change this to match your intended purpose, and the text could just as easily read Happy Birthday. You should also be aware of Dingbat's fonts, which represent letters with characters, decorations, illustrations and logos. If you are familiar with the Wingdings or Webdings fonts, you'll find more of the same here. If you have a specific idea, you can search directly by typing the relevant term and clicking on the search box. Here, we type the term Star Wars, and are presented with six fonts matching that search. Clicking on the sample text takes us to a full sample, including each character in the font. In this instance, we note that there are four fonts within this family, and all will be downloaded by clicking on the download button. Note that the font downloads as a zip file, and clicking on the downward pointing arrow in Chrome allows us to immediately open the download location, and the compressed folder is now shown in our downloads folder. We now need to decompress the zip file, so we right click on it and select the option to extract all. In this instance we accept the default extraction location, which will place the extracted files into our downloads folder. We leave ticked the option to show extracted files when complete, and the extracted files are immediately presented to us. In this instance there are four directories, one for each variant of the font. In this example, we will pick the Star Jedi variant, and we click to open that directory. Now there are six files for one font. The three JPEG files are merely pictures showing samples of the font, whilst the doc file is supporting documentation. The two true type font files are the installable fonts. We double click to preview, and if we choose to, install. Clicking on install will immediately add this font to those available on the system. Now let's use the font anywhere that fonts can be changed. Here in WordPad, but just as easily in Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Click the font menu to reveal the list of installed fonts. The list is alphabetically sorted, and we know that our font is called Star Jedi, so we scroll down the list and pick the newly installed font. The font is now selected. We can optionally change size or colour, and here we change the size to 48, and type the text. Repeat as many times as you like for more variation, and happy fonting. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Hopefully you found it useful. If you can provide a better, faster, or more economical solution, let us know in the comments. We'd love to hear from you. If you'd like more, you are very welcome to subscribe to the TechFix Flix YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button. Subscription is of course entirely free and provides easy access to all of the videos posted here. Clicking on the neighbouring bell icon means you will be notified whenever a new video is posted. You can also keep in touch by following the official TechFix Flix Twitter account. Until your next TechFix, goodbye.